welcome to another video. Thank you very much for clicking it. I hope you've been enjoying them so far. I've been enjoying making these training vlogs and obviously as with anything of my videos, if you've got any comments, questions that you want me to answer or things that you want me to cover, then please leave a comment down below because then I can address it and bring it out in one of the next videos or I can just reply directly. So that was a really nice run. It was just basically on the cards today, it was an easy run. That's all that I had to do. And it was meant to be 8K, but I actually did 10K. And uh, I don't think that's too much of a problem, but you know, starting off, as I said, I've recently I've been so kind of focused and diligent on my uh, training and it's really nice to see. So for the past four weeks, I've uh, basically been doing the same amount of volume, 50 kilometers and increasing on different things like strides and a little bit more of uh, intensity and uh, it's been working really good and feeling really good and but uh, today 10 kilometers nice and easy around uh, well the pace and the average heart rate was 135 beats per minute and uh, felt really good but uh, yeah that's Monday in the bag and tomorrow well We'll just, you'll, you'll find out in one second. I, I have to wait another 24 hours to figure out what I'm gonna do. So on my training plan that I've got, Tuesday, today is a cross training day, 60 to 90 minutes on spin bike, swimming, aqua jogging, whatever I want. But, you know, sometimes things just don't go to plan and that's fine, it's perfectly all right. For whatever reason it is, if you're not really feeling it, you got too busy day or whatever, just don't stress out too much about that fact. And uh, you know, you can either work it in later into the week, adjust your schedule a little bit, or you just take that day off for whatever reason. And that's what I'm doing today. My body feels super tired. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a little, I've just been for like a little walk, done a few things like body movement around the house and done a bit of foam rolling, but I'm just not feeling it to be able to go out and do a massive bike ride or anything. And uh, you know, like that is perfectly fine. You know, I think I think it would be worse for me to go and do like a smash session that I really didn't want to do, that I've really got no motivation, my body is really not screaming out for that. And maybe it's screaming out for the rest and I need to listen to that. So be adaptable, be agile and uh, we'll fight to live another day. Wednesday's coming right at me, just round the corner. Welcome to another run. Wednesday and we've got a a good session ahead, but we'll talk about that later. I just wanted to say, hope you're all doing okay. Hope you're managing to stay active and mentally in a good place. And I uh, just wanted to say that. And uh, obviously, need any support or anything, you can always contact me via Instagram or drop a comment down below. But I'm uh, incorporating this run into a little bit of an errand that I need to do. So I need to go back to work to go and pick up a watch because I've got an important test coming up but uh, you'll find that out more in a separate video. Watch acquired! <laughs> so for today's run we've got approximately 10 kilometers but the most important part is 10 times 20 second accelerations with one minute recovery between them. So we're increasing the amount of accelerations and intervals 
over the weeks. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. And if I'm totally honest, I'm not really in the mood to do them. <laughs> but there's nothing physically wrong, just maybe not mentally there wanting to do them. But then there's no better reason to do them, is there? <laughs> and into the wind. Gosh, it's a real eye-opener. Shorts are a good idea, but these gloves, my oh my, my hands are straying so much. Maybe they were the wrong choice. Six months ago, let's get this, come on. Oh my God, this hand wind is so strong. Okay, so that's the 10 of the 10 uh, 20 second sprints done. So when you get an elastic band, at the beginning when you first buy it, it's super stretchy and you know, elasticity is really great. And then after two years, they're super like, they're not really elastic anymore. Well, I tell you what, that is kind of like the definition of how that session went. Really, really hard work and having to push those legs around. So that's a good sign that after eight, I was kind of okay and those last two were really hard work so that goes to show that I'm really kind of pushing and improving and going beyond your limit just a little bit not too much and now we have it another solid run in the bank one hour pretty much on the clock about uh, just under 12 kilometers. All the details will be up here anyway. And I think average heart rate around 140 beats per minute. And uh, yeah, 10, those 10 strides or accelerations felt really good. Sorry about the wind, let's try and be sheltered somewhere. And uh, yeah, felt really good. Felt hard work, that's why, I, that's why I'm saying it felt really good. Yeah, I didn't feel like, you know, I, I powered through the uh, workout, but that's not always gonna be that way. And to be honest, you don't want it to be that way, that you always just feel comfortable. So feeling a little bit uncomfortable from it and uh, it's got signs of progress and it's signs that my body is going to adapt to a higher level. So really happy with that. That's Wednesday in the bag. Today we're running out on the trails in the little forest near me and it's Thursday but any of that you know who follow me on Strava by the way the links down in below all my training is there you can follow me and we can discuss more there as well but uh, Thursdays is Santa field test day so we go out testing the watches and we usually depending on what we're doing do different scenarios so today I'm on the trails doing a little six loops and testing some watches whilst also getting my training in and that's what I love about my work in a way is that I can, my work and my hobby collide but yeah just taking it nice and easy Although I'm sounding as if I'm kind of struggling for air, it's because I'm running up a hill, but still keeping it at the easy pace of running up a hill. Excellent run. Now, only an easy run, but there are some really good uh, key takeaways to take away from this run for me. So it was about just over 10 kilometers. We, uh, you'll see all the statistics here, but just over 10 kilometers, average heart rate of 135 beats per minute and 
roughly six minute kilometers. And that's on some trails. So I did like, this is why I'm super happy and super impressed with myself. Woo! Uh, is that I did six kilometers running on the trails and I haven't done that for a very long time. I think the last time I did that was, well, anyway, but um, probably since the ultra. But six kilometers on the trails is super good. As I said, the reason why I haven't been so much trail running is, you know, like the instability, uh, you know, when you have that instability through the knee, that the gait cycle, obviously, you have to use a lot more of going up and down hills and stuff like that. Right, back at home and in the comfort of my living room. So I'll just go through those stretches that I enjoy doing after my runs. I find that it helps me. And sometimes I might not stretch. It really depends on what I've been doing running wise or how I'm feeling muscular wise. But today I'm gonna do it. And probably about 80% to 90% of the time, I always do this stretching routine after every single run that I do. Next video, Mark, this is audio, Mark. So I just loosen the hips up a little bit. Uh, swinging around just get a little bit of dynamic moving and then stretch out over to the side and obviously with these repeat on both sides of the legs both legs and everything this one's a hamstring stretch so front leg is straight back leg bent and try and tilt from the pelvis and keep it straight back and that really gets a good uh, hamstring stretch and this one is just getting both of them at the same time trying to not bend the knees and just tilting and not rounding the back this one's a calf stretch and you're going to try and drive those hips forwards whilst keeping that back leg straight. This one's for the TFL, uh, really good. Just put the leg on top of the other one and rotate and push. And then in the same position, uh, just lifting up like this. I think it's called King Pigeon, but it's uh, good for the glutes, really good for the glutes. And then just stretching out both of them, a little bit of dynamic moving, trying to keep that back straight. This one I really enjoy just sitting back on my legs good stretching out the ankles great one for the hip flexors you're going to lean forward not uh, rounding the hips but pushing forwards and lean over to the side really great for the hip flexors and there we go as easy as that the stretching is done literally takes you know like five to ten minutes and depending on which part of the body is feeling I don't know the most tight or stiff or tired maybe take a little bit more time to focus on that area or the muscles around that area but next important thing to do after running is obviously a recovery and rehydrating the body so you've had some water and uh, get some good quality food down you. And as you can see, I'm having this smoothie here. Friday's a rest day usually, but as you can tell from this footage here, and you've maybe already seen anyway, that it was a little bit of a different day and uh, as I said previously on Tuesday, I think it was, that things change and I kind of really suddenly just randomly decided to do this. Uh, but I'm not going to say much about it. What I'd suggest is go back and down, downstairs, down below, watch the video of me running a mar or running walking a marathon on my six meter long balcony. It was a pretty fun experience. Something I'm sure that you can enjoy watching as well. And let me know if you've done any uh, crazy stuff like that in your lockdown period or this coronavirus outbreak. What have you changed or what have you done a little bit differently or is everything just going on as normal for you? So it's been an interesting past two days of training, hasn't it? A little bit different, but as I said previously, good to be flexible. But today we just come out, get the body moving again, get some fresh air. It's so nice to be outside. It's so nice to not be going in little laps. Although being a 
running YouTuber, you're kind of used to that. You put the camera down, you run back and you're going back. So it's kind of like, uh, what was it? Bad memories from the night before. Anyway, uh, as you've seen, I've just got these new running shoes, the Clifton Sixes. And first time I've owned a pair of Clifton shoes, lots of Hoka shoes, as you know, I really enjoy running in them. I just wanted something for easy miles that's gonna have a good amount of cushioning but uh, a nice fitting shoe that I enjoy wearing. Today, I'm just not taking it very seriously, just uh, making sure I'm just banking some time out, some kilometers, and I'm not worried about pace. I'm not worried about heart rate, although, I mean, heart rate's gonna be low anyway. But it's a beautiful day here in Helsinki, and uh, I'm gonna start heading back towards home, and uh, then we'll catch up on how the run felt overall. <laughs> That is the Sunday run done, nice and easy, and uh, banked 11.8 kilometers. Average heart rate, 135 beats per minute, and uh, feeling really good. It was a really good week, bit of a different one, and as I said earlier in the week, don't be scared to change things up, don't be scared to see how your body's feeling and change and adapt, that's really important. But I felt really good on this run. I did have like a little bit of tightness in the uh, right ankle just before I started, but uh, as I had massage yesterday and I know how my body feels, I knew that it would warm up as I continued to run. And well, that's exactly what happened. Like never run on an injury, that's the worst thing. But when it's tightness or stiffness, that's a completely different thing. And that's something you really need to learn within you do some walking just to get some continued moving rather than just sitting down straight away. Make sure I drink some water and it was a really solid week in the bank and looking forward to next week. More goals, more achievements and uh, more fun with you guys. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed the video, the weekly video and enjoyed the training. Any comments or questions you can always leave them down below and well, we'll see you next week.